both for the past 10 years and the last 10 years are technically correct, but they can convey slightly different meanings depending on context. When we say for the past 10 years, we're generally referring to the 10-year period extending backwards from the current point in time. It emphasizes the duration and implies continuity or repetition over that span. For example, if I were chatting about my caffeine habits, I might say, I've been drinking coffee for the past 10 years. That tells you I've been sipping on that delicious murky pond of Java each morning without missing a beat. On the flip side, the last 10 years often feels more like we're reflecting on a specific finite period. It's like drawing a line in the sands of time from now to a decade ago. If I reflect on the technological advances in Portland, I might muse, the last 10 years have seen an incredible transformation in the city's tech landscape. Here, it's as though I'm carving out a neat decade-shaped chunk of history for examination. It's worth noting context doesn't always require differentiation. Sometimes these phrases are interchangeable. Sure, the differences can be subtle. Language often is. These nuances are the spices in the kitchen of conversation. If you keep that in mind, whether you end up talking about the last 10 years or for the past 10 years, your meaning will be as clear as the view from Pittock Mansion on a sunny day in Portland. Remember, language evolves and flexes with use. There isn't always one perfect, timeless answer. The key is to understand the subtle flavors of words and phrases and to use them in ways that bring your story to life. And that's something I've been honing here in Portland for the past 10 years. Or should I say the last 10 years.